let's talk about some metrics on YouTube, okay? Because this is interesting. So on our, if you go to our YouTube page, you keep it 100 official, all right? And you go to the home page. The first line of videos is our most recent videos. And it's like from like, uh, let me see. If you think five, five to two days, you know, from five days ago, about 15 videos, right? Now, if you go to our, then you go one line below, it says popular videos. Those are the most popular videos of all time. Let me give you some of the, the most popular clips of all time. Okay, number one still stands at Jim Ross on where WWE is going wrong. That's 393 views from four years ago. The second highest video clip of all time was a topic that we really didn't know a lot about. We just commented on it. Conan on The Rock's Real Life Heat with Shawn Michaels. 264,000 views two years ago. Hmm. Two years ago also, Disco Inferno on Kevin Nash and Bill Goldberg's backstage backstage drama Starcat. Starcat. So people kind of like all this kind of old nostalgic stuff. Uh, right. Yeah. 158,000 views. <clears throat> also, all right, and from also from uh, Disco K, okay, from, from four years ago, Conrad Thompson on the reason for the his biggest fight with Eric Bischoff, okay? Remember that when he was, uh, when they were yelling at each other, okay? And yeah. he talked about that. that. That got a lot of views, okay? What was it? Say it again. Uh, Eric Bischoff and who? Conrad. Uh, his, his biggest Conrad. fight with, with uh, Eric Bischoff. Right. Bro, one month ago, this this is up in there. In the t- I got into the top five. Okay? Right. But one month ago, Conan reacts to Kevin Nash burying L.A. Knight. 15-minute huh. conversation. Yes. That, got, that, got, that got good clicks. This week, we have good numbers. Okay? Right. We had Vince Russo on the show. Okay? And right. We put two, two clips of Vince Russo. Up on the YouTube, okay. One of them is uh, uh, the most recent one. Oh, hang on a minute. For some reason I can't navigate. My, my cursor doesn't work on my computer effectively anymore. Uh, the most recent one, Vince Russo on Dave Meltzer lying on Dark Side of the Ring, is ten thousand views. That's from from a day ago. Twelve thousand views from a day ago. Vince Russo on CM Punk's control over Tony Khan. And like so, and, and we want to say that Vince's, uh, you know, Vince, Vince had a version of the fight. The, 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 let me make this something very clear. When people come on our show and they're telling stories or they're telling their version of things or they're telling, you know, they're, they're talking, but we're not policing what they say. Okay. Like everybody needs to understand, okay, well, what, what they say is like, okay, you can vet this and like you can, you know, look, look for anything. We're not reporting this stuff as news. We're not bringing Vince on, on his news. We're just asking about his opinion on, on issues that are going on today. <laughs> but, Coney, you probably have a little bit more about this, too. So, Well, no, the bottom line is that um, uh, Vince Russo has a story. Uh, that's what he thought, okay? There's other versions of the same story in other places. So you can listen to this, read that, and make up your mind for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Well, Vince, right. Vince's version was something like the EVPs went in and attacked a, t- a contracted talent. But the story I read in The Observer and has been around was that, yes, they went to confront him, but Punk came out swinging. Like the fight started on Punk's end. Whereas right. the way Vince told it, you may have perceived that that wasn't the case. I mean, I, I mean I, there is I, different I, versions, but that's, yeah. that's what's And happening. I think most of the people that listen to this and, and or listen to all these clips or listen, and, and it's been so long, it's like they know something went down in that room, it's and the cool. only people yeah. that know exactly what went on are the people that were in the room, and those people are not allowed to talk. So we draw. Our, <laughs> so, so yeah, sometimes they find a confidentiality spe- thing. So sometimes people will speculate. We're not the people that are speculating. We're not saying okay, they're right, but people are going to speculate on the on situations like this when it happens. Bro, all the right. podcasts do this. You know what right. I'm saying? Especially Everybody when you does want- it. Even the fans, they right. opine with their friends. We all do it. That's what's interesting about this show because right. you can come in and you can say, hey, you know, I think they're right. I think they're wrong. You know what? I'll write them a letter, see what they think. There's interaction. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's always right. going to be dialogue. You know, and we're going to let anybody, bro, we had a flat earther on here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Twice. I, okay. And, and uh, has, at the end uh, of the day, go ahead. huh? What do you no, say? I was gonna, I was gonna say eventually we'll probably have Ben Hamina talking about a focused laser attack that caused the Hawaii fires. Right, so right. And he's our boy, you, you know. <laughs> right, you know, bro, Juventus Guerrero. That's how he got on the show because he believed in flat Earth. Remember? 
Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, exactly. And we yeah. buried him. Right. That was great. <laughs> Go back and listen to that show if you want to laugh. All right. We ready? Ready to do the mail? Yes, we are. Okay. That's good. That's an interesting pause. All right. So first one's from uh, Ben. Ben. Saturday nights are ripe for a fight. What's up, K100? The ratings apologize to you Saturday night is just a bad time slot when Big Bill versus Kevin Neal fails to draw on collision. How do you explain Saturday night's main events monster ratings in the 80s area from 11.30 to 1 a.m. Eastern? Ugh. Uh, because wrestling was, well, Hogan and Andre were very popular. Um, but I'll, I'll say this, bro. I, I said, after the second week of collision, I said this is Rampage Night 2. And it is Rampage Night 2 with better production. The, the, like, bro, you have all this talent. Look, Joe, read the names of the read the matches that they had on Collision this past Saturday but night. Let me just say this. You said that Big Bill. Well, let right. me kazoo that name because that's hideous. Big Bill. <laughs> right. Um, versus who? Uh, Kevin Neal. Who? Who's Kevin that? Neal. Kevin Who's Neal. That? It's a giant. I don't it's know a, who that is. Incredible performer from he's a collision superstar, Kevin Neal. He beat right. him in a minute oh. half. Yeah. What's his record? <laughs> I don't know. So. What's his record? Like who would uh, care about that, really? But go ahead. Joe, what were the what were the matches on the collision this weekend? You're muted, Joe. Okay. Oh, so uh Jay White. Versus Dalton Castle. Now, when was the last time Dalton Castle was on TV? Not Bro, on he came oh, out uh, with the whole encore with the Cabana Boys, <laughs> the Wings. You need stuff and anything for now, you. Yeah, good, good, good showmanship, but. Uh, okay, bro, well, he's so we had, yeah. yeah, we have Dalton Castle on. He hasn't been on forever. What about, who else? Then you got Bullet Club Gold versus the Iron Savages. Uh, <laughs> the Iron Savages. Okay. Who was? Oh, that's Bear Country. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Now they they come out in these outfits, kind of like they're like you know rockers type, all black and you know. So, right. Yeah. So Big Bill, ver- Big Bill, Big Bill versus Derek Neal. Uh, Willow Nightingale versus Diamante. All right, Diamante okay. Killian's girl. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs versus Kevin. Ku, Kevin, and Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Ku, <laughs> Ku is spelled K U. I, I, I've never heard of that. Guy. Okay, uh, Darby Allen versus Christian, which you know that's cool. There you go. And uh, okay, that's it. Why are, you know the uh, other day, the other day I said I said that the only real manager in AW is um, Don Don Callis. I'm gonna add Christian to that list. Yeah. Next is from Aaron Bla- Eric Blanco. Subject is Von Erichs. Hey, Conan, did you wrestle with any of the Von Erichs? If so, how are they in the ring? Kerry said to be on his way to bigger things if his demons oh. hadn't caught up, caught up with them. Wait a minute. I- I'm going to answer the, the last question first because I remember a lot about this. you got to remember the reason the Saturday Night Main Event thing was really popular is because n- no wrestling show had been on, on like, you know, main – you know, yeah, yeah network TV, TV, right? And it was at night because usually, at uh, what time did you watch wrestling in Atlanta? Because in 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 Miami came out at six twelve o'clock in the night. afternoon. Mm. What time? Six, six no, no, not, 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 not the Saturday night, the the regular WWE show. Yeah, like superstars or whatever. The yeah. Oh, what time was that on? Nine o'clock, wasn't it? Nine o'clock in the morning or in the and the night. at night. I don't. I don't remember. At night. Okay, well, Miami was at like 12 o'clock, right? So here it was at night, and bro was replacing Saturday Night Live sometimes, which was a very popular show, right? And so, and this is what they did. If you remember, we grew up, Disco, I don't know, I don't think Joe caught any of this, but we grew up when on TV was usually the stars versus enhancement talent, right? Yeah, always. Yeah, and so you had to go to house shows or to the pay-per-views to see real matches. And these Saturday night main live main events had the shows you weren't watching on TV, like Andre and Hogan, and they had cage matches. I remember flag match. Hogan was like on all of them. You know what I'm saying? That's when he was really hot because they had just done, and I don't know if you remember this, Disco. Remember they had just done some shows on MTV, and they 
did monster ratings. Yeah, the war that settled the score. Right, and, right, right yeah. And MTV at that time, if you didn't live it, everybody watched MTV. If like you were a teenager or like a kid or, you know, you're like you were into music because they had pop and rock, all the top hottest groups, the newest groups. And then uh, when rap came along, you know, they embraced that. So that was really big to go on MTV, that which which all the networks knew, all the young kids were watching, and have some shows, and and that's what, you know. Then after that, they got the deal for Saturday Night Main. Okay. Now plus, the other one was about. The, yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say. Plus this guy, uh, it's it's just to not the comparisons. Apple and oranges. If you really wanted to compare, he would look at when Saturday Night's Main Event came back in the mid two thousands, and made like one or two episodes because it wasn't popular. It's different now. It was different. 15 years ago when it was back on NBC, you know? Yeah, well, there were less channels. MTV was huge. You know, there's other factors that aren't in play today, right. you know, and plus we're saturated with wrestling. Um, uh, and then the other one was, uh, who, who was the guy that was barefooted? Uh, the Von Erics? Kevin? Kerry? Kevin. 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 So I wrestled with him in Arena, Mexico. Very cool, but kind of eccentric. Um, and, uh, and then I met Carrie in uh, WWE and bro, he just looked like a star. Like they don't make guys like that anymore. He just looked like a, like a movie star, really, to tell you the truth. Um, and he was very, he didn't even know me and he was very, very nice. He goes, yeah, we need guys like you here. You know, I'm from Texas, the Hispanic thing. You got a good look you know, you know, welcome on board. Like he was really nice and he didn't even know me. So I, that's what I can say about them. The next one. So did you, I, I've read this next one. You didn't answer it. Um, who are you talking to? You read it to who? And I didn't answer it. No, he just, answered oh, no, he did, he did, he we're, we're past yeah. the monarch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. Next yep. one's from, um, uh, ultra frog roller frog. And the subject is because right. why? Hey, K100, do you guys think that Tony Khan resigned the elite because he has creative reasons or just because he didn't want them to go to WWF and become huge stars? I ask this because all in 2023 is in five days and only one match on the card, the main event, seems to have a storyline. Tony Khan has no creative skills. Um, well, he resigned the, the elite because they're, they're kind of like homegrown talent to him, you know? Yeah. I mean, and let's and no nobody is questioning that the 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 all in build has been very lackluster. I mean, even even the dirt, even Meltzer and everybody's like talk. You know, I, 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 there, there's no disagreement on this. This has been a lackluster build to all in. But they, but like the point I brought up is like you know as as a um as a promoter, okay. And Coney, you've been in this position is like. If people are sitting there like knocking you, like, oh, just you know, you have all this Chris like you kinda of like, okay, well, we sold all the tickets. So it's right. like you know, right. And I, it's very difficult well, we to we sold get a lot of tickets, tickets as long right, as it was tickets. profitable. Right. right, exactly. It's very difficult to get Tony Khan to sell for this because he's this is like his biggest show he's ever. Eighty thousand ever people that have bought his ticket, they like the show and they're gonna be there. What right. build up do I need to make? They're there. You know, yeah. I read upset, you, you know, people that people that bought the show already and that it's their fault. They bought the show. Okay, you paid for it without knowing any, without knowing the card. He kind of delivered a lackluster card, well, but it's like, okay, you're not. And it's like, well, what did you think? You know, you you bought it based on nothing. You just just the fact they're having a show. So the brand is the one that's selling. So, go ahead. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I just think to answer this guy's question, I don't think he wants a PR disaster on his hands because. He already had one vice president leave, which who ended up looking good in that deal? I believe WWE, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, no shade day AW. You know, it's not a shot. Um, and so imagine three VPs leaving. They're just vice presidents and three big names. You know what I'm saying? So 